Hello everybody and welcome back to Time to Play. I'm your host Draven and we are back with Paragyme. <laughs> Not a drug dealer, an ideal example of the pinnacle of concealment. <laughs> oh, I just realized I could move my mic further down. Hello, inconspicuous sign alluding to the fact that a drug dealer does not work here. <laughs> if I need to conceal the fact that I'm a drug dealer in the future, I might consider it. Hmm, what else are you not? Great, a windy road for artistic effect. No consideration for my fitness at all. I is wish this my thing diet did not consist entirely of coffee and cereal. Yeah, is this bird burping? Oh my gosh, this bird is burping. Why? Why isn't fast travel implemented here? Mmm, yeah, make me walk. Oh god, I feel like I'm in an old adventure game. This is the worst. <laughs> like, yeah, I would enable it, but, mmm, yeah, make me walk. Oh, Ooh. come on, stairs? No escalator? This isn't Rocky. I do not have the calves for this. Go, my child, go. <laughs> Baller. <laughs> I'm scary. Unfit slob breathing. <laughs> I hate stairs. Oh, hang on, there's a dupe organizer. It's a dupe organizer. Sort of like a personal digital diary. Compulsory to all citizens of Krush. Hey, you, you there. Yes, this is. Yes, you. This is you, my dear friend. Harrogate, brr. <clears throat> Occupation, real ghost. I'm stuck in this dupe organizer. Please help me get my soul out of here. Otherwise, I'll be stuck here for all eternity. Just follow the link l.go backslash backslash dot com and put in your credit card details and I'll be free. Please, friend, you're my only hope. After, I will give you my inheritance value at 330 trillion BCD straight into your Kush account. Ah, yes. The future bodyguards. Cheap, recyclable, and after you are finished, you can make some sweet blanket forts with it. No girls allowed. Okay, hang on. I should have done this a long time ago. I need music kind of down. There we go. That's better. It's not loud. Hello, eco-friendly bodyguard. If only I had a marker, this would be a beautiful canvas for Felix sketches. <laughs> Doug already is basically my bodyguard. I don't need this. What's this pocket knife? I'm interested. Wow, this is a limited edition Pushinska army knife. It's the only standard issue army knife to replace the knife part with a serrated spoon. Laughing like it will strike fear into the heart of your enemy whenever they hear stories of death by serrated spoon. Talk to. Oh, extremely dangerous serrated army spoon. Yes. Oh, 
I'm not sure if it's responsible to use a serrated spoon here. Maybe it will be handy somewhere else. Then pick up. I've always wanted the Kush Army serrated spoon. Okay, I totally forgot these have a press to talk button. Yeah, yes, the most renewed. Yes, yes. I too love butts. Yeah, I think. Oh, wait. Hang on. <laughs> I too love butts. <laughs> that is the funniest thing in the world. You are proof there are still good people in this world. <laughs> really amazingly hidden camera in bush. It's a rare CCTV bush. It receives nutrients from invasions of privacy. Hello, laughable security. This is no time to show my godlike figure and mutant booty. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I don't need to spy on anyone in a very obvious way right now. Hello, Intercom. I want to speak to your master. I guess I have to press the button. I thought this was the future. Hello. I have some cookies here to sell. I'm raising money to bring about the second apocalypse. And there are only two crush marks. I was hoping to get something for my back pain. Hmm. Nothing. Breast reduction surgery it is. Uh, what? Have you considered a new life insurance plan? I recommend insuring yourself against dragons and goblin invasion. In this economy, you can never be too protected. I would like a burger uh, with a side of life-changing third eye-opening drugs. Damn! Now how am I supposed to write my deep and hard-hitting prog metal album? <laughs> I would like to purchase some space dust? Go away! Space oh, dust they're talking! I mean, what space dust? I mean, get off my premises, you filthy pig. My guard will kick you out if you try anything. Your guard is clearly just a cardboard cutout with a speech bubble drawn on it. Bollocks! You Please won't be blaze saying black that here, you cheers. A insane paper cut. It's gonna hurt real bad, and when you finally think it's healed, it opens up again. Shit's super annoying. Ain't that the truth? Look at me. Look at me. Do you think I could even run after a criminal? Fat policemen normally do the paperwork. Oh, I just meant I was unfit. Wait, do you think I'm fit? Yes. If I were a policeman, could I do this? Sorry, I was supposed to do something that proved I was not a policeman. Well, if the goal was to look like a dickhead, you did it. Aced it even. <laughs> I, I am, am not, not a, a cop. cop. I can do that too. I am not the droid you are looking for. Droid actually lives down in Crossevia. Isn't this fun? I'm a part of a fat gangster hip hop group. Prove it. Yeah. Come on, yeah. I'm a rap guy and I rap and I rap rap and rap rapping guy and and I uh, uh, uh That was terrible. I don't believe you. I hate Who hates the, the police, police academy, academy movies? movies? No one hates the police academy. Exactly! Movies. Thank you! Except for maybe after number seven. Mm. Okay, maybe, maybe that. Maybe you are right. <laughs> Alright already. <laughs> Jesus. This is going nowhere. I tell you what, if you bring me the severed head of a policeman, I'll let you buy from me. Whoa, isn't that pretty brutal? Psh, not if you're a gangster thug like me. Now get the hell out of here. Jesus Christ, I can't murder anyone. Who does he think he is? I can't even tell if a fly passive aggressively. Maybe <laughs> I can order a canned head of Ibeski. 
Ugh, I don't have time for that. I guess I could go look around. I'm finally starting to remember where everything is. Flushing all that milk out of my system is letting me think clearly again. I could probably check my shop, uh, the junkyard and or butt observatory. Oh! Fingers crossed there was some local decapitation today. Mm. Let's go to the shop. Oh jeez, someone broke my door and window. Igorski, why do I even have you in here? You've been drinking again, haven't you? Ruff. God damn it, you're so hideously cute. I could never stay mad at you. Ruff. Looks like whoever broke in left a note at least. Courteous, courteous dick. <laughs> what a nice asshole. He left me a note. I'm looking for an interested visual named Paragon. He is hideous. You might know him. While knocking on your door, I accidentally slipped and broke through your door. Then I accidentally searched everything inside. My mobile <laughs> is broken and I will come back to contact you. Sorry about the door. I tried to fix it. I attached a slip. Uh, this clip art of a cool son to say sorry. Aqua, Dupa Genetics Henchman. That's a cool son. It was a dark time trying to pay the bills. I try not to think about it. Can I take this? I guess it could be handy. Can I pick up this cone? <sighs> Damn it, you disgusting ball of flesh. I need that cone. Ruff. Oh man, how can I stay mad at you? Sure, as and all. Hello, blindness and vomit inducing liquid. Paint thinner mixed with ethanol. Essential for your everyday needs. How about you and me transcribe our love together? It's a radio that I managed to get working finally. Too bad there are only like three stations. One is a regular music station. The second is just hours upon hours of some neurotic guy narrating everything around him. The third is 24-7 advertisements. Let's check out what's on the radio. Whoa, 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 welcome! This is Advertisement Radio, where we play advertisements all day, every day, from around the world. From around the world! A world where you spend every last cent of your savings, and then your wife leaves you. Taking your dog. Taking your favorite hat. Taking your hemorrhoid donut cushion. Eventually leaving you to heat up a can of beans with your butane lighter. And then you're left staring at your blank wall because your TV was taken too. Haha, <laughs> enough about me. Let's get into the advertisement. Hey there, Billy. Do you like video games? Yeah! Do you like gross amounts of virtual violence? Yeah! Yeah! Do you like doing test? Like, here's an example. Just before I personally was cursed, they... Better turn it off before I go. Hmm, can I? Whoa, whoa. While Igorshki's mutant stomach thrives on alcohol, this could make his widow tummy upset. It needs a mixer. A mixer? Never take another person's debogernizer. It basically just locks your account immediately. I heard it from a friend. It's a wizard stick. Compulsory to all citizens of Krush. And <laughs> Before doing this, 
I do not recommend drinking paint thinner, unless of course you have a stomach of horrifying mutant dog. You have been warned. <laughs> Igorski, lunch time. Oh Jesus! I hope I didn't give him too much. Igorski, are you okay? Good dog. Good dog. Now I can take this. I don't know why I need this. What's that? Is that Mort? Hey, mate. It's me, John 3000. I managed to form the connect to your headset again. Someone blocked me out last time. Weird. Heh. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Anyway, the tune this new bird, she wants me, hey. <laughs> Check out this sound boy, she's like my super bonds are hot. Ow. <laughs> Makes me sweaty just listening to it. Can uh, can you please leave me alone? Yeah, right. Just to be clear, if you don't get this floppy soon, the station is gonna melt down real soon. Everyone will blame you for millions of deaths for centuries to come. No biggie. Oh, that's not good. What? It actually might be too late. I had so many biddies to cyber with. I guess this is goodbye, Paradigm. Oh, jeez. Oh! This isn't so bad. Ah! I can live with this. Oh, God, what just happened? Oh, just a little bit of hopper visual simulation I implanted into your brain via sound waves. Just wanted to emphasize this destroying the world thing, since I would die as well. Not too keen on dying. I feel an email would have been more appropriate. <laughs> yeah, well, boy. It is said touching the butt gives you good luck. Mostly it makes your hands smell weird from all the other people touching it. Oh, there's Morty right there. Ugh, I feel so dirty. Non-Soviet Union symbol! I don't need to create any political change right now. Hello thing that makes things appear closer. Turns out repairing magnification glasses is expensive. Although, I must say I'm impressed by this artist's rendition. Oh wait. Saleswoman. Okay, now we can go. Let's go to the junkyard. Ow! Ow. Oh, wow. It's an incredibly <laughs> rare Eastern European paper airplane bird out in the wild. This is truly a magical moment to behold. It looks like it uh, has some sort of message for me. Needle. Neat. They are like the lucky dip for diseases. English oh, yes. sad. I'm gonna have the sexiest police costume. If I hold it too long, its mother won't take it back into the nest. I better not. Sorry, paper airplane bird. I had to open you up. Paragon, your life. Is a meeting for a danger. Someone is after you. We are organized. Nizing your rescue. Hold tight. Rebels. Uh. Hello, strange cone guy who I have so far successfully avoided talking to. Hello, Don Cone based humanoid. Uh, who are you again? 
I am the code, trademarked. Did you really trademark it? Yes, originally I was cone underscore sexy underscore babe 69, but the original died ironically in a traffic accident. God bless his cone soul. Isn't that cone crushing your face? The cone and I live as a symbiotic being, the sum of our parts stronger than any individual. Just like two cop partners starring in an 80s action slash comedy slash drama slash epic TV show. Also, yes. It is horribly painful. What's your origin story? My mother was a cone. I don't think that's physically possible, but uh, go on. It was a forbidden relationship. Needless to say, she was a terrible mother because of her lack of limbs. But I love her all the same. I also have a crippling, crippling fear of letter drivers. Eh, yeah, makes sense. Thanks. That does make sense. What's in the bum bag? Justice. Seriously though, it's just a fashion accessory. These aren't even real zips. What is your weakness? Yeah, that's a great idea. I'll go around telling people my weaknesses all the time. I'll tell you my weakness when cones fly. <laughs> <laughs> He's a funny guy, isn't he, Roller Manisha? Not as funny or handsome as you, though, the Colonel. Detachable! I love you, darling. Me too, he he he. So, you're saying if I want to take your mannequin, um, wife's head, I would have to take advantage of your only weakness flying cones. Have you considered having some other weakness? Maybe checkers. I'm pretty good at checkers, and it could be a very exciting minigame. What? Never mind. I have chess. I'm pretty good at chess. I really need your mannequin. Can I please have it? What mannequin? All I see is my wife. You're so handsome, the cone trademark. Damn it. This is going to be harder than I expected. Laters. Goodbye, my non cone friend. Hmm. You would think this would be the solution to get rid of the cone, especially with the crane hanging conveniently over him, but it is most definitely not. Oh wait! Wasn't there... Yeah, Space Cadet, he has this. I hope he doesn't mind if I take it. Ew. Like stealing candy from a comatose man who happens to run a candy shop. Wait, can I? Everyone uses that line, it's not rocket science. I've always wondered how it must feel for actual rocket scientists, you know? How many have broken down emotionally from hearing that joke so many times at dinner parties? Oh, let's go! Oh wait, I saw a launch pad up here. Is there something inherently wrong launching something that the con has psychologically personified into ultimate destruction? Then ripping the head off his wife to trick a drug dealer into thinking I murdered a police officer? Most people would say yes. They probably would be right. Hmm, it doesn't seem to be working. Oh. Oh my. child
What the hell is that? Well, he's gone. Let's go. All right. Finally, I can take your head. What the hell? It's not coming off. Detachable my ass. I need to get it off somehow. <gasps> the spoon! Finally. My dreams are coming true. I get to sever a head with a serrated spoon. A few hours later. <laughs> that only took me eight hours to cut through with the Crush Army Spoon. I was estimating at least ten. Take that, Swiss Army Knife. And now... My very own decapitated police head. Time to bring it to the drug dealer. Oh, hey, I'm at the door. Uh, hello? Uh, I've got the, the head now. C can I, uh, can I come in now? Impressive. Stand back a bit and I'll open the gates. Well, come. Bitch. <laughs> See that? <laughs> it's like the gate is talking. You've read Stephen King before, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah! I love Stephen yeah. King. He's got some good, good books. Nights, nights, nights. Meanwhile, nights, at customer nights. service at Jupiter Genetics. Sir? Sir? I've been waiting here all day. Can you please see to us? It doesn't seem like you're doing anything. Hang on, I'm doing really secretary stuff. Ting! Ting! Psh. Ah. All right, done. What do you need? I have a complaint. Complaint? Oh, wonderful. It's what I live for. Our son, our prodigy child that we bought on the 22nd of January 2016 is faulty. What do you mean, faulty? They aren't budget, no-name electronics that break, crushing your children's hopes and dreams on Christmas morning. They all say, why doesn't Santa love us, Mummy? Why did he give us broken presents? Should have just bought the official one, but no, you wanted to save a few bucks. He is faulty. All right, calm down, miss. What seems to be the problem? He... He... He wants to become an artist. Jesus Christ, Mom. I'm not an artist. I'm a two-dimensional... Oh, God, do you see? He's tearing our family apart. Faulty. All right, all right. We've seen this before. Can you please sign these papers? And if you don't mind, little Johnny... Stand on that little circle thing over there. Hey, man. I don't conform to your ideals. Go slay some dragons, you inconsiderate pig. What if I told you that over there, on the circle there, is a gluten-free mocha papito latte? Really? <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, miss. This has been a fault with the oldest line of prodigy children. Again, I apologize. Just sign the waiver here and we'll get you the replacement. Oh my. Okay, well, this was fun. I'll leave this off here. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I hope to see all of you in the next one. Bye-bye!